Hello friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Pro uh. with a very quick but powerful Motion Monday tutorial for you. Today we're going to be making some text that has a backdrop that actually sticks to it and follows it around the screen that we can totally use within Final Cut Pro. Go ahead and open up Motion and we will do new from project browser here. After that, go ahead and select your Final Cut title and you can leave these settings at whatever you like, although I would recommend setting your duration over five seconds and we'll just push open. After that, we will push Shift Z so we can see everything in this window and go ahead and delete your title, background, and text. Once we have deleted those, go ahead and select your text tool here. Click somewhere in the middle, it doesn't really matter, and we can just type something like subscribe. After that, we can go into our inspector, go to our properties, and we can zero it out in the position by resetting that parameter. Go to our text, and we can drag up the size, and let's go ahead and center it. After that, let's go ahead and add in our fancy background that follows our text. So if we select our rectangle tool here with R, or you can click it right there, we can just make it whatever size, it does not matter. Let's go ahead and get rid of the outline for now, and we can change the color here to something red. After that, we can go into our geometry settings and maybe drag up the roundness a bit and voila. Okay, so what we wanna do is make it so when we move this text around, the backdrop moves with it. So select your rectangle and we are going to go up to behaviors, basic motion align to. And what this is going to do is once we drag our subscribe text into this well, it's going to make the rectangle always follow wherever we drag our text. And this even works in Final Cut Pro. So it's like on screen controls, very nice. Now we wanna make it so if we change the text in here, this box is the exact same size and it kind of follows whatever the width of the text is. So we can select our rectangle once again, go into our size parameters here under shape, geometry, size, click this down arrow, we're gonna add a parameter behavior link, and then we can drag our subscribe text in there, and we're going to select under compatible parameters, object, attributes, size, all, and voila, our text is going to set the size, so if I type in like, the box is going to exactly follow the size of whatever our text is. Now let's say that we want to add in a little bit of padding on the side so it doesn't look quite so ugly. We can go to our X offset here and drag that up to 100 or whatever looks good for your particular project. You could also do it in the Y offset if you want it taller or if you want it shorter, you can click on the zero here and actually go into the negatives. So if you wanted to, you could easily take your rectangle, go into your shape style here, and you could publish the colors so you can change the color to whatever you like. You could add in your outline, you could set the width to something really narrow, and you'd be set to change your parameters however you want in Final Cut Pro. Also, you could take your like, and we could go into properties, and we could add a quick animation by clicking this down arrow, add parameter behavior, and do overshoot, and then we will set our start value to negative 100% because the scale that we want it to be at the end is 100%, so negative 100% will um, essentially offset it. And then we can select our overshoot, go forward to about you know half a second or so, push O for out, and that will trim it down. And now if we play back, we've got a fancy little animation on our like button there, or we could say subscribe, whatever we so desire. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing. If you are a patron, you can download this file and use it in your videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Friday for a Final Cut Friday tutorial.